Start saying hi, everybody. Start saying hi. We got my mom here. That's amazing. I'm going to be playing. My mom will not really be saying anything during the games. No, because... of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to be looking at your face from here <laughs> from time to time because I want to see your face expression. No, don't do that. I'm saying so I'm much kidding. with my I'm face. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know my mom a little bit too well. So we are going to go ahead and start with the first game. We're going to get started. Okay, let's do it. We're going deep farm. I'm gonna put my glasses on here. We're gonna try to get some good chests with some good glasses. Now, you know, this chest, I mean, I feel the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Guys, don't tell don't tell my mom what I usually do in chess games. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and go here because I wanna kick the queen away. I wanna get a tempo. Little, little tempo. Just because I need to get my pieces out in castle. Pretty quickly, I feel like. I kind of just wanna... I'm just gonna go knight here, not even think about it. And I, I'll, I might be able to go bishop f4 and get my pieces out. I'm just trying to get my pieces right now. I'm just trying to get my pieces. I know I'm low on time, guys. 115, it's not good, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, we can do this. Okay. All right, guys, you know what? This will just be a great analysis of an endgame after. <laughs> guys, I'm not liking this. <laughs> okay all right look at you smiling i don't think you are smiling i had such a great game i messed up with a little time yeah i think so the problem was you used too much time so let's go back and to see what happened because in the, in the opening it was very mm, it was like black was having getting out with the pieces so let, let's see what where you could improve what where i think you could yeah, yeah, GG Travolution though, you played really well. GG, yeah, yeah. GG. Yeah, Wait, yeah. What, what happened? Oh, why is that? Okay, let's go ahead and go here. Okay, let's go ahead and go from the beginning. Yes. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, let's go for the game, and I will say e6. Yeah, this is very typical. C4. Okay, C4. And now B6. And now, of course, they go B6. Uh, here you can play lots of things, but you can go E4 directly if you want. Uh, instead, E4? Yeah, and the idea is if they go. Bishop b7, you can go bishop d3, you don't have to go knight c3. But knight c3, because knight c3, the idea is to, to play e4, but you can play it already more early if, if you would like to. So, so. Okay, wait. okay, sorry, yeah, now Let I'm... me just go ahead and hmm? do like this. Okay, so, but knight c3 is a very common move, okay. Bishop b3. Is the reason why I should go e4 first, because then I'm avoiding this whole bishop b4 thing. Yeah, it will be something completely different. You will avoid that if, if you want to avoid it, but, it, but it's also possible to play. So let's see, you play now knight c3. Bishop b7, e4, and now bishop b4 is a good move because it, this is, you know, black is giving all the center to white. White put all the pawns in the center, looks very beautiful, but now black is attacking. So it's a little yeah. bit like, please come, and now I will I will go for you. <laughs> and now in this position, Don't I think I think the, the, the most normal <laughs> move here is to play actually f3. f3 immediately? Yeah, to go f3. That's what you've yeah, because I went, I went queen c2, but f3. Yeah, I think f3 is the most one. You can also play bishop d3. So, and after bishop d3, if they go f5 now, you can go queen e2. So your queen is better on e2 actually than on c. Uh, I, I think it's better on e2 than on c3. But let's go back. Queen c2 is absolutely also played. And I think that I, some years ago, had this position with black. And uh, in, the, in the weekend tournament in Stockholm, in, Stockholm in Sweden, and it became so exciting, but I don't <laughs> remember exactly what that. It was so <laughs> tremendous exciting, but I was, and I think he also played Queen C2, and uh, so you were playing with the black pieces. I, I think I was playing with the black pieces. Yeah, it's like two, three, maybe before, no, three years ago, something, two, three years ago, but I, I, I I'm not. Did uh, you win? Um, I think the game in the end was a draw, but it was like I was winning, I was losing, and then in the end it was a draw. It was a very tough game. Lots of things happened. But queen c2, let's say. And now we play queen h4, yeah, because this is what black has to do. You have given you all the center. If black plays too slowly, uh, you will develop and you will keep your nice center, and then it will be more difficult to attack. But now black takes this chance, you haven't developed, so bang. You're, you're going for the e4 point. All right. Yeah, keep, keep on going. So g3. Okay, yes, I think... Queen oh, h5. Uh, queen h5. And now I, I, I don't... Uh, I, uh -huh, I want to... Why don't you play knight e2? It's, it's like... Uh, because e4 is protected. There is no... And you go knight e2. I was afraid of queen f3. Yeah, and you go castling. 
because it's very good that your e4 pawn is staying there. You take on c3, you take back with the knight. There is no, you take back with the knight. Ah, and now, now every defending. Now is defend. And actually, now you have a very big threat. If you play now, what would you do with white? If I played now? Yeah, if you, you get an extra move here. I could go bishop and then trap it. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. So, so here we see that all of a sudden you have got developed, taken out all your pieces. And now this queen on f3 is not doing it very much. And black is behind. So in this position, I think you're, you must be a little better here because of development. You, you are better here. I, I, I think so. So... Uh, so the queen has to get away from here now. Mm. Then. So after, yeah, so after knight d2, uh, I, I, I think you are fine here. So, okay, so yeah. Say yeah okay, you can take on e4 and you take back with the, I think you take back with the bishop. Just to exchange the oh. bad bishop for the good one. Oh. And I think actually you, you change also the queen. You take, take with the, yes, because you take like this and you take here and he has to, yeah. Black takes, you take back on e4. And how this position, yeah, yeah maybe it's about, maybe it's about equal, it could be. But but you're a little bit, uh, you have more development, but now when there are no, um, we have changed the queen, the, the tempo in the game will be slower. So it's not a real danger for, for black here. But this is completely fine for white and probably completely fine for black too. So mm. this is what I was expected uh, to play though. Mm. Mm. No, yeah, this would, this would be a lot better. Um. I was thinking here, like, I went bishop e2, I was thinking knight e6. No, but wait a moment here. Maybe you can... Yeah, no, you don't want to. If you go knight... Yeah, you can go knight e6. Actually, this e6 square is the square where you want to have the Yeah, knight. but I just didn't... Like, I thought that after a rook went somewhere... Yeah, rook of seven. Yeah, rook, rook of seven. seven. I thought that if bishop e2, there might be knight a. Uh, bishop e2... Yes, after bishop e2. I'm not sure. Let's go. Let's go. Bishop e2, we have knight takes. Because... Knight takes idea ah uh, yeah now we're opening up the diagonal but let's say we go bishop f3 aha uh -huh, but there's so many pieces hanging here uh what will happen this will be very crazy but let's <laughs> say bishop f3 we go for the knight but now yeah we bishop f3 you take on f4 i guess uh, i get uh, you go here yeah but you can yeah I, okay you, you, yeah you can take on c4 first if you want it doesn't really matter and then uh, we go rook f1 this is what i wanted to see and if you take on f4, we take back with the knight. And how is this position? There's two more pawns for black, but we have uh, we have this threat again along the diagonal. I yes. guess e6. Six, and we can... now we take on d6. And now only move is rook is knight to seven. And now we take on c6. And how? Look here. Who is better? <gasps> oh, and then we have a pin with rook to one. All of a sudden, you see. So I think you shouldn't be scared that you lose your pawns if that means you will get some activity so the d5 pawn is actually maybe what you hope him to take mm. because then finally your bishop which is not very strong now your white square bishop will start playing i think that that's what i we can go back to again but i think that that's what i didn't realize that it wasn't that bad for me to lose my d5 pawn no i think i didn't realize that so i think that that's what happened that i started playing a little bit uh too passively here so what did you play here ah yes you can't move that rook yeah this this is this is a disaster i mean right now we're entering we are entering the you know type of yeah i was just starting to blunder everything so i mean so actually in this yeah hmm, there is yeah actually in this position I, if you try rook c7 we, we play very actively and the idea is if you go rook d8 i have a little trick here I you have to, a trick. I want to show you my trick. You have a trick. My mom always has a trick, guys. Yeah, and the trick is we, we change the rooks. We change the rooks. Wait, let me see if I can find the trick. I want to find the trick. I mean, I mean, I guess I can just push. You can just push. That's the trick. And what happened? What shall black? Because black is made it is, is on yeah. the, what do you call it? This uh, last or, or, The back rank. Uh, the back rank. And and what happened is you do something, whatever you want. Next move is d7 and next move rook c8. And you don't have time to come with your king. And it's only uh, the king who can defend this black square. Yeah, especially because this bishop is defending. Look at that, guys. So now now it's, it's awakened. So, so, so yeah. So this is what happened. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really cool. So mm. even here, when I had, I felt like I had blundered because I blundered, mm. or I, I um, out of mistake, exchanged that bishop. I still have my chances here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. You know, I thought you were a pawn down, but it was equal pawns. But I was worried about the king, but maybe it was not so 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 easy. 
All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens. I think we can just look through these moves pretty quickly. I decided to exchange rooks here. Was that a mistake? That's a mistake. You need to keep the rooks because with rooks and with a pawn down, you have so much better chances uh, because rook endgames with pawn up, it depends so much on, uh, on activity. And if you, for example, exchange everything and black has only one pawn and you have your king on the right just in front of it, there's, there's nothing. It's so easy yeah. to draw. So, but bishop endgame with a pawn down, this is, this, I think it's just lost. Yes, but when it's the same color bishop. When it's the same color bishop. If it were a different color bishop, it would have been a draw. Because mm. you, yeah, then it would have been a draw. Then you normally, you need to have the two pawns up for to win. Mm. Mm. And then we also can, yeah. So, so after rook c8, I think this is just lost. So let's see what happened. We can just see really quickly what happened. Um. Yeah, then wait, wait here. This is what I don't like that you're more here. Because... You want, where, where, where do you want to camp, where you put your bishop? Where I want to put my... My king. Well, if you could dream, you take your king. Where do you put your king? If I could take my king anywhere, uh, I guess here. Yes, e5 or or d4. Yes. Yeah. And the quickest... And you you want to exchange pawns. Hmm? So you have to go up to oh, your I pawn. Oh, you need to start pushing so that yes. the pawns are easily easier be, yes. exchanged. And not only that, with the pawn on f4, you see, now black can not put uh, the, the king on e5. Oh, oh, the black king cannot go to e5 because yeah. there's a pawn on f4. Yeah, so let's see. Black, black yeah. king, f king, yes. So now th this makes a whole big difference. And if you can change, uh, lo look here. This makes a completely different. Oh, yeah. because now the king can't... Look at the bishop! The king cannot go to any of these squares. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's why. so cool, yeah. And that's why when you have a white square bishop, you put the pawn on black squares. Because together, you're taking so many squares and also the opponent cannot uh, attack them. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And then if they ever go G5, then I mean, then we're just going to have one weakness less. Yeah. Then so then that would be really good. That, that will be so much better. You're changing pawns and that's what you want. And this is also saying, when you're material behind, you want to change pawns. And uh, when you're material up, you want to change pieces. Hmm. That's so cool. I, I actually didn't think about F4 being like... Mm. I like you know such such an important move in this endgame. Yeah, because also if you can if you calculate the the, the time it take, yeah. you went f one. If you just yes, I just want to show the the moves. You went you can make it with the arrow one to get to d four. It took you four moves, but you could do it in such a better way to get four moves with f four and the king directly. That's so true. <laughs> so. That's so true. It's the same. Is it takes the exact same time even though I'm not moving my king all the time. That's always a good thing to think about, that the journey that a king takes, I mean, even if you're moving all the time, I mean, the journey matters. So the squares that you choose to go to, um, I mean, it, it matters. So, so yeah, mm. that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Should I have? No. Because one thing, in this endgame, because I think this is good to talk about, mm. in this endgame, when we have the same color bishop, mm. I thought that I wanted all my pawns to be on dark squares. Yes, that's correct. That's okay. correct. And okay. that's the black ones as well. So we can see that all pawns here are on dark squares. Do you want to maybe explain why we want to have them in dark squares? Yeah, no, it's, it's, very, it's very important because when they are on dark squares, we have the white square bishop. And like when you show the king on e3 and f4, can you see so many squares? They, they, they take together e5, f5, g5. You see, if you put the king back on e3, I, like we will yeah, look. Here? Yes. So, yeah, yeah, yes, it, here, and you, you make some small move, black, not, not, but yes, a small, uh, small move. And now we go f4. Can you see that white take all this square in the center? Because of the bishop take the white square and the pawn take the black square. So this is why you want to have the pawn on the other color of the bishop. But there's another reason also, and that's opponent bishop can. So that's very important also. So there are two reasons for it. And here it was so important that with f4, black's king would be kicked back and you would play king d4, which means that the pawns on king side, queen side, would not be so easy to, to run with mm. as it was uh, in the game. It would be, po it was be so much more difficult. Mm, yeah. But mm. let's see, show what happened. And I will just uh, show, uh, I think afterwards you have no chance because this G5 come, very good move. And now you are pushed back and you cannot move any of your pawns. You can only move your king and bishop. So the best you can do here is 
Yeah, uh, let's see. I you, don't really know what to do here. No, you have nothing to do. And I will just show yeah. you, even if you, uh, actually, uh, maybe you should put your bishop go, on, on the diagonal G6, B1. This is not, but it will not change anything. Yes, maybe go there. That's mm. kind of sad. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is just lost. <laughs> this is just lost because uh, it will be such a good pawn, A5. Now you went down, but you see, when you go, every time you, you go backwards with yeah. your king, his, his king is coming and you are getting less and less squares to go to there. You now we have only two ranks, the first and second rank yeah. for your king. And it, it was very sad. Hmm. It was very, very sad. Uh, but the thing is that I, th I felt like I had to at some point start getting my king this way because otherwise this pawn, but mm. the problem was that whenever, whenever black pushed this pawn, then the king went to this way. So that's, that's mm. the whole issue. So I, mm. yeah, you can see. Yeah, this is just hopeless. Yeah, and he... Mm. I mean, I, I don't have anything to do here, right? No, you don't have anything. It would only have been if you had had time uh, before to change your H pawn against one of those. Then this, then you would have a, could, could sacrifice your bishop for yeah. the last one. So that's why every pawn exchange would have helped you. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, so, yeah. Because then I could just exchange that and get that one. Yeah. Mm. So, all right. Well, guys, uh, this is the first game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should make it. But it was very, you know, very exciting game. So it was many a very things happening. Yes. And and also, you know, with the end games, it was uh, very very instructive to to see and to, to learn from. Mm. It was a very long, uh, like a really long game with a lot of different parts where the tactical parts and then we had the very, you know, the, the end game. So there were a lot of different parts in this game. It was mm. a really interesting game, mm, um, which I lost. Yeah. <laughs> but GG Travolution Gamer, we're going to go to the next game now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and also to subscribe. If you ever want to catch me live, go ahead and go to twitch.tv slash Anna Kramling. Hope to see you there.